welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and this is Home Sweet Farmhouse. In this video, I am doing a Dollar Tree Halloween haul and I am so excited to be decorating for Halloween for a number of reasons. First of all, I just love the season. I love Halloween. I love, I think I love that it's like, it's turning into fall and that of course means Halloween and um, also my mom my mom is coming to visit <laughs> so um, Halloween is also when we celebrate my dog Kim's birthday but let's get right into this Dollar Tree Halloween haul so if we start our haul with my favorite item I think these mini cauldrons are gonna be it and I know I have on a, a black shirt I did that because I'm doing a Halloween haul but let me pull these out of the packaging you get four for a dollar which I think is a great deal and I am going to be decorating I think two different tiered trays so I wanted some smaller items and this is perfect and it has quite a bit of detail on it it has even though it's all black it has like the flames coming up all around it has handles on the side it has the handle on the top which actually moves so a lot of detail and you get four of them for just a dollar so I think this is going to be my favorite item of the haul but let's go through everything else I got and see if this remains my favorite item of the haul and I do want to tell you I did go to two different Dollar Trees because I have a couple different Dollar Trees in my area and if you've been following me for any length of time you know that neither of my Dollar Trees are amazing like they're 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 both get very little stuff in I am constantly disappointed but I'm happy with what I got this time even though I've seen a lot of other really cool stuff on other people's channels that is not in my dollar in either one of my Dollar Trees that's okay so next up I got this um, MDF sign that is it's just labeled as decor but it says eek eek -E uh, with an exclamation point that's gonna be really cute and probably just gonna paint this black but I don't know, maybe I'll do something different with it. A lot of the stuff I got, I am gonna be decorating with, I'm gonna be doing, uh, making some DIYs with, some really simple DIYs this year, because last year I went all out, and I will link that video below. I went all out on my Halloween DIYs. I did Hocus Pocus themed, and so if you haven't checked that out, definitely check the link in the description for that video. But um, that's gonna be next week on my channel, so definitely if you're not already subscribed, look right down there and hit that subscribe button because next week I'm going to be decorating for Halloween as well as doing some really super simple, easy Dollar Tree Halloween DIYs. So this eek sign is going to be included in that. I also grabbed a couple of these, uh, these signs. Now this one, the one that has these pumpkins on it that just says Happy Halloween, is actually, to me, really cute the way it is. The border is just uh, black and white and kind of like dark gray polka dots um, so I don't know if I'm gonna DIY this one or not but this one that says trick-or-treat it has this like crisscross pattern on it uh, definitely not my favorite although I do like the skull on it um, and some of the detail it's still not my favorite so I'll probably figure out a way to DIY this at some point these are great to just have on hand all year long to do DIYs with uh, so I did grab a couple of these. I also grabbed some of their uh, miniature command hooks, which they're not the command hooks, they're their Dollar Tree hooks, but I'm going to try to use these outside with a couple of different things while I'm decorating for Halloween, and I really hope they stick up because, I don't know, I mean like the side of my house is stucco, inside of my house is, I think it's called tacked out, I'm not sure. It's all textured, so we'll see if these work, but I'm going to try them. And... I also grabbed two Halloween stencils. Now, the stencils at Dollar Tree are really a great deal because you get two in a pack for a dollar. So this one says Home Sweet Haunted Home with the like haunted house outline and some ghosts. And then on the back, you get uh, another one which has like a cat, a witch, a crow, a spider, another like haunted house type thing and then it looks like a graveyard down here so you get these are a really good deal I always try to pick up their seasonal stencils because I mean you're not gonna find a better deal and then this one it has like bats a bat some candy it says trick-or-treat there's a ghost a bone skeletons another cat a witch's hat and a pumpkin and then on this side it says happy Halloween and like really creepy text and uh, let's see we've also got a bat um, a moon and another a different type of pumpkin so really really cute I'm uh, really happy to have found those and then I also grabbed a couple of their Halloween cards now I don't actually send these out as greeting cards to people I like to DIY with them I like to make my own signs with them because I love how cute these cards are and I can never find 
signs as cute as I can find cards so I like making if you didn't I did one um for 4th of July oh my goodness it was my favorite piece I know it's not 4th of July but I will link that in the description below as well because how I made that sign I'm just that was my favorite one of my favorite DIYs of all time I also grabbed this witch's hat again for only a dollar I mean it's just you could, can't beat it it is you know kind of cheaply made and it may only last this one year and that's okay for a dollar but I'm gonna be decorating with this and I just think it is so cute now one of the stranger things I bought that I'm gonna do a DIY with is that Dan Teller tree has Christmas stuff out already so I picked up a white Christmas tree I'm really excited to do a DIY with this for Halloween yes I said I'm using a Christmas tree for Halloween so definitely um, check out next week because I'm gonna be using this I also picked up a strobe light this is again gonna be part of my outside decor and I'm really excited to start decorating for Halloween and I can't wait to get that video up for you guys and of course I grabbed some creepy cloth because I already have like so many ideas of what I want to do with creepy cloth and I think I have some in my storage unit I've got to go to my storage unit and pick up um, all of my Halloween decor from last from previous years but uh, before I can decorate but I did go ahead and grab another piece of creepy cloth just in case I needed it and then I did grab some rings as well we've got orange spiders white skulls and black bats so this is gonna wind up really cute in the DIY I have planned for it and then just some glitter ribbon this is black glitter ribbon um, it is in the it says crafter square but it also has the pumpkins on it so I think this is just for Halloween so um, if you are interested in black glitter ribbon get over to your Dollar Tree before they put all the Halloween stuff away or sell out who knows let's see oh I did grab a couple of things that are not Halloween so I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you now and then we'll finish up the Halloween because I have a whole two more bags to show you <laughs> um, definitely check out the soap section at Dollar Tree because they have name brands for only a dollar. Um, I needed some extra soap in my spare bath because my mom's coming to visit so I grabbed this. Also, um, in a couple of weeks I'm going to be putting up a video on my channel of items in the Dollar Tree that are not made in China and that reminded me because a lot of times you can find soaps that are not made in China in the Dollar Tree. So if you are interested in items in the Dollar Tree that are not made in China, make sure you have hit that subscribe button. I also grabbed this um, little bucket. Now I really just liked the color of it. I have been incorporating blues, light blues into my house and while this is a darker blue, this is one of their fall colors that they have out, I just thought it was going to be really cute to have in my office as a trash bin because I don't have a trash can in my office and my husband is constantly reminding me that I don't have a trash can in my office and I don't want some big bulky black thing in my office. I don't have room for that so I thought this would be a good compromise so for only a dollar I'm gonna give it a try. Um, only two more things that are not Halloween and then everything else is gonna be Halloween. I did grab some more of these mug treats. They actually changed up the flavor that they have. This is the hot fudge brownie and they are Betty Crocker so for a dollar you can't beat it. I like to include these in gift bags and gift boxes um, especially for my pet sitters and things like that and I'm running low because I often give gift bags so I needed to pick up a couple of more to include in any I, I mean I just you have to keep gifts around for when you need them like you can't always just run out to the store every time you need it to put a gift bag together so I try to keep things like this in the house so I can quickly and easily create a gift bag for someone and then they have <laughs> Bagley Chew bubblegum which again is not for me my nephews are super into baseball I sent them some of this bubblegum probably like a year and a half ago and they were so excited because it's you know baseball themed they are a little bit older now but they are still very much into baseball so i'm going to be including these in a gift that i send to them all right so now back to halloween i i just I, yeah let me know in the comments below um once i get through showing you everything that i got at dollar tree for halloween let me know which one is your favorite and i will also let you know at the end of the video if those mini cauldrons are still my favorite right now they are still my favorite uh, grab from dollar tree and you can see kim is interested in all of this that i'm pulling out now it's been sitting in my office for like four or five days because i haven't filmed um so she has been like slowly snipping and poking her head in the back <laughs> but anyway i got this um mesh tubing 
in black. They have it in a lot of different colors. In fact, most of the colors they have it in are like fall colors. Um, so if you are more into decorating for fall than Halloween, definitely. Uh, they have a lot of fall stuff out at the Dollar Tree, but I got the black because I am decorating for Halloween and I, I was figuring one pack was going to be enough for me, but I grabbed two just in case. This item, I feel like I didn't see this last year. Maybe, I don't know if it's new to Dollar Tree or if it's just new to my Dollar Tree. Um, there were skeleton hands last year and they still have those this year and I actually bought some last year. But these are glow in the dark and they have um, stakes that you can, like you'll have to assemble them so you can see the stake here and the glow in the dark um, hand here. So I was excited to see these because I do want to put these in my front yard and the ones that I got last year were not glow in the dark so you saw them really well during the day and not so much at night and I really wanted these to show up. Now I have no idea if we're going to have trick-or-treaters this year. I do live in San Diego so there's a good chance we will not because um, our governor is awesome that way but hopefully hopefully we'll have some trick-or-treaters i don't know we'll have some festivities for halloween for the kids um even though i don't have kids i'm a big kid <laughs> uh, i did also find these cute little spider and spider's webs um the spiders are glow in the dark and i can attest that they do actually work because they have been glowing in my office sitting here every night um just from the sunlight coming into my office so these are going to go on my outside decor as well which I'm so excited to be uh, decorating again for Halloween. I don't think I put a Halloween decoration video up last year, just DIYs, uh, but I'm going to be kind of combining them into one video this year. Now these, they had a few different colors of these like witches brooms and they're, they're on the smaller side, which I like because I'm thinking I'm going to use these for tier, my tiered tray because um, I do have a larger tiered tray, but even if I have to use them for something different, they're still a pretty good size. I went with the purple because I just liked the color better. They had like an orangey color as well. Um, but this was like the darkest color I could find. And I do have a lot of purple in my house. So these are, these are going to work. These are really cute. I did also grab this plastic. It's like a little dish, almost like a candy dish, but, um, it's just called a basket. It has, it looks like a spider's web and it has the spider's uh, two spiders on it. They have lots of different colors. I actually did not see black in my Dollar Tree last year. Otherwise, I probably would have grabbed one last year, but I'm thinking I'm going to use this in my outdoor decor as well. I lied. I do have one more item, items, that are not Halloween that I did grab as, um, to, to include in gift bags, bags or boxes, whatever I decide to send. It's easier to send boxes when you're shipping, but we'll see. Um, I did grab these. These are just like cute little, they're picture frames, but they have like the, um, uh, clothes pens where you actually hang the pictures inside and I thought these were really cute for my nieces. Um, this one with the unicorns and this one has like unicorn llamas <laughs> in it and it says believe. I got two of those because I was thinking that this would actually be good for a DIY as well. Um, so I'm going to be keeping this one for a DIY and then this one is so cute with the puppies. I really love like all things dog and cat, but um, this just isn't in my color palette, so I will be giving it away as a gift. But again, I think this one is gonna be for a DIY. These are not like Halloween specific, but these are gonna be for a Halloween DIY. This is just a picture frame, and this is just one of their like canvas prints. Um, but I am gonna be doing DIYs with these for Halloween, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you can check out all of the DIYs next week. I also found this really cute uh, pack. It's a 16 piece ornament set and they are black ornaments for Halloween. I did not, this was literally the only pack I saw in my Dollar Tree. All of the other ornaments for Halloween I saw were the larger uh, ball ornaments. And I, again, for my tiered trays, I think this is gonna be perfect. If they had two, I probably would've picked up two, just because I have two tiered trays that I am decorating for Halloween this year, but I was so excited to find these. This, I, I'm still gonna say the cauldrons are my favorite pick so far, but this is a close second. It's like, it really dries your mouth out to talk for this long, so I had to grab a sip of water. All right, so I also found in the crafter square this chalkboard sticker and it looks like you can just kind of cut out your own 
design or shape or if you have stencils that you want to use to cut out whatever design you want. I thought this was a really, really cute idea, especially in combination with um, maybe some of these smaller, like this cat here. I mean, how cute is that going to be with a DIY project? Yes. And I found two plain black candles. Now, the candles at Dollar Tree, I always look at them and I always pass. Um, primarily because the majority of them are scented and I have a really, really strong um, aversion to fakey kind of scents. I get really bad migraines. There are, there's only one candle right now that I can burn that doesn't give me a migraine. Um, but also, you know, I want to keep all of these chemicals and um, synthetic fragrances out of my home, especially for, you know, my health and my pet's health. But these are not scented. And I don't think I've seen black before. Um, they do have plain white, which is nice, and I will probably get some of those for the spring. But a lot of the um, tapered candles, or not the tapered candles, these are like, what are these called? I don't know, it's in Spanish. Because these are actually made in Mexico. But some of them have like figures of like the Virgin Mary or Jesus or something like that on it. And I didn't, don't, that's, that doesn't go with what I'm trying to do right now. But these plain black candles, are going to look amazing in my indoor and I, I, I'm not like going overboard inside of my house this year with Halloween I'm primarily going to be doing you know two two areas two different tier trays one on my um, table one on my uh, bar area and then I'm gonna be doing the outside I'll probably put a little bit up around my fireplace as well but that's gonna be about it um, because I don't want to overwhelm the house especially when I have my mom coming into town but these are gonna be really cute next to a tear tray I only got a few more items to go I did pick up some of these three in fact of these miniature the two by three inch photo frames I got them in black they have them in a few different colors they're actually designed to be like place setting um like where you can put in like a name or something on a place setting a lot of people i've seen use these uh, on larger baskets when they're organizing um which is really cute but i got these for a halloween diy um i also grabbed some of the i mean this is so cute really cute halloween um napkins now Again, I told you earlier in the video, I'm going to be coming out in probably two to three weeks on my channel, items in the Dollar Tree that are not made in China. And to my surprise, their plates and napkins are included in that. So um, these are made in the USA. Super surprising to me. A lot of the plates and napkins made it. You're going to have to subscribe and watch that video because I found some really cute stuff like staple pieces inside of the Dollar Tree that are not made in China. Most of them made in the USA. I think one made in Mexico. So I mean amazing, right? Like these are so cute and they're made in the USA for only a dollar. All right, we're getting down to the wire guys. I found these really cute felt stickers and I got these primarily for the black witch's hat, which you can kind of see in the back there they also have a purple witch's hat and then these like orange and black witch shoes uh, again i primarily got them for the black witch's hat for a diy i'm going to be doing and then i found these really cute larger uh skulls these definitely are not like i don't know are they no, they are definitely not like full size but they're close to full size i'm going to be using them probably my outside decor and then last but not least i got these cute little miniature like full size skeletons they call them garland um because they're i guess all put together on this twine but i'm not going to be using them as garland i'm going to be using them for a diy it's going to be super cute all right guys that's going to do it for this dollar tree halloween haul let me know in the comments what your favorite item is Mine is still going to be these miniature cauldrons. Uh, again, a close second are these miniature black ornaments, which are just perfect for tear trays, which is why I'm saying they're a very close second. But these mini cauldrons are my number one favorite item from everything I hauled at Dollar Tree this year for Halloween. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite item is that I hauled. Thank you so much for being here with me. I know I have told you a couple of times in this video, I have some really great uh, new videos coming out 
every Sunday on this channel. And next week I'm super excited about the Halloween DIYs, but mostly about decorating for Halloween. So definitely if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Um, so you can be notified when that video comes out. And thank you so much for being here. The best compliment you can give is a thumbs up and I hope you do give it. Make sure to comment below, especially with what you're favorite item is that I hauled at Dollar Tree this Halloween and I will see you in our next video.